Hey guys, this is Dr. E from DrEscapeo.com. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, boosted board batteries because actually one of you guys, new subs, uh, were asking me and we're just all talking about it. He wanted to know how it works. Um, so we'll talk about boosted batteries. Uh, so boosted started using these 26650 batteries. All right, this is a 26650. Uh, this is a 21700 battery. And then there's the 18650. Do I have one? I'll have one. Let me bring that also. That's uh, 18650 batteries. All right. So the numbers, uh, this is 18650. Let's actually switch the angle so you can see the, the batteries here uh, a little bit more close. So as you can see, these are three different size batteries. You can see these two have the same length. This one's a little bit taller. As far as uh, the diameter, you can see this one is the fattest, thick, thick duggo. You got a medium duggo, and you got a small one. So 18650 have been very popular among S gates uh, until 21700 came out. Now, 21700, the, the new Tesla batteries weren't out yet a couple years ago. When Boosted started their business, they had option of this or the 26650. So why they go with the 26650? This particular one, so so the numbers mean, the first two numbers uh, mean the diameter. So 26 millimeter diameter. And this uh, third and fourth one is the length. So 65 millimeters uh, in length. And 18650 is 18 millimeter diameter and 65 millimeter length. So the, the only numbers that are different from 26650, 18650 is the first two numbers, all right? So um, these two, why did Boosted go with this? This is a lithium ion uh, battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's different chemical. Now this allows you to recharge your battery pack like four or 5,000 times, all right? This one, you can also do it, but you can't, you can't use the whole range from like zero to 100. Um, so that's the biggest difference. And this one, uh, it's, it's more fireproof. If it starts fire, you're going to have, uh, it's just not going to start fire um, in comparison with lithium ion. So this is actually safer. Um, but if you look at the power output, and uh, also another big thing is the voltage. Fully charged, uh, fully charged 18650 uh, will go to 4.2 volts, 4.2 volts. Nominal voltage is 3.6 volts. This one is uh, fully charged at 3.6 volts. Nominal voltage is 3.3 volts, or I think it's 3.2. 3.2, 3.3. So you'll need more of these batteries in series um, to make the same amount of voltage as this. All right. Um, so that's one of the drawbacks of using this. And the thing is, um, the power output, the instant output, uh, the maximum continuous output is like, I think, 50 amps. So each cell can handle a ton of amps without getting hot, without degrading a battery. So this is actually a really good cell. But the problem is the size. It's almost a double the size in volume. So you end up, you know, you look at the Boosted Mini, uh, the battery battery size is huge. You can make the same capacity way smaller with 18650. Um, but I think it was, a, it was a choice that made and I think that's part of the reason why they went out of business because they went with this battery that there's only like one company that makes this A123. Whereas with 18650, you know, a, a ton of companies make it. It's really, it's the price has dropped. This hasn't really dropped in price. This is like still 60, 655 per cell. This, the 18650, you can pick it up for like a dollar or two if you buy a ton of it. So the price is also another reason, in my opinion, Boosted went out of business because they went with a cell that's not widely used. So over time, they're still paying the same amount for the batteries while all the other companies using 18650, they're saving money, making more profits. Um, so this is a good battery. Uh, it's got a lot of power, but again, it makes your volume of your board much, much bigger. Now, the weight, I think it's actually about the same. Uh, we can weigh it next time. I don't know where my my weight weighing thing is. Um, so yeah, so this 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 is a pretty light battery. But the problem with uh, lithium iron phosphate 
is that it takes up a ton of room. So you end up, the reason why Boosted doesn't have like super big range, like most of my boards like now do like 20 mile range, 25 miles. Boosted, their best one comes, you know, it's like 14 miles or something, All right? Um, so their battery tech is just not, it was designed way early. I mean, they were pioneers of electric skateboards. Um, but they never followed up. They didn't have a version 2. They didn't have an extended range. They could totally make one like that go 25, 30 if they use another battery pack. But they use the same battery pack on their, uh, same battery cells on all their boards. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest difference. Um, so for skateboards especially, you need small batteries. You need to be able to customize it. And this just doesn't make sense. You need the, more of these in, uh, series to make... The same voltage as a 18650. Now, here's where the Tesla battery comes. Tesla's like, all right, we designed this new battery uh, that's a little taller, but it's a little fatter than the 18650. So what does this do? This this is like the problem solver. Uh, basically, it's a little bit bigger than 18650, but it's not as uh, like it's not thick doggo like this one. So what this does is uh, it packs a ton, almost twice the power, more than twice the continuous output. Uh, the 30Q, not this one, but 30Q, the, the, the real popular one, 18650 batteries, they use uh, maximum output of 15 amps. You can do 20, but it's rated for 15. This, the 40T is rated for 35 amps. Um, and if you, if you have cooling, if you stay under 85 degrees, you can also do 45. But according to Mooch, this is about 30 at most. Uh, this is 20. So almost double the power outputs. Um, slightly bigger out, uh, battery. All right. So that's where it comes in. And you can basically, it's more power dense than 18650. So you can build batteries that are smaller, but way more powerful uh, with more capacity. So most electric skateboarders are moving to, uh, companies are moving to the Samsung 40T um, or, or Tesla batteries. And then Tesla battery day is coming soon. So that's going to be really interesting because Tesla's going to probably do, uh, probably make it slightly longer and slightly thicker. All right. Because this design is just too, it, it's just too thick. Daco, it, it's just, it, see how the, the, the height of it, when you make, build a battery pack, you have like 30% more space required. That means less clearance. All right. Um, so with new Tesla's new batteries, it's probably going to beat this in the continuous output while um, you're going to get uh, more capacity. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, I just want to show you that. And uh, for those of you, I, I was actually thinking about maybe doing a, like a boosted board battery business. Maybe I'll, I might even, you know, build my own batteries and sell them or repair batteries. I, I don't know. Just an idea, but uh, uh, these batteries, if you have a uh, like a broken boosted battery pack, um, what you can do is if your battery is dead, basically the BMS that's on there, uh, if you forgot to charge your bore for like a whole year or six months or whatever, then some of your cells might be below uh, the 3.3 volts. If it goes below something like, I don't know, two volts or something, in, you know, you, you won't be able to recharge it. It's completely dead. Like if it's at zero volts, it's probably dead. But you might be able to uh, bring it to life. So what you can do is open up the boosted bore battery and open up the uh, cover and then re try to recharge each cell. So get a like a bench power supply, connect minus plus. You don't have to unsolder anything and try to charge it to 3.6 volts, the, the highest voltage. That should work because the one good thing with the uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries is that uh, it's able to take abuse, all right? Um, it's a different material. So you should be able to actually revive most of the dead batteries out there, in my opinion. Uh, but they're still going to be, you know, dead cells. They could be. Uh, but they're, I, I believe they're more resilient than 18650. Somebody confirm me on this. Um, yeah. So, yeah, battery technology is everything. And I think uh, um, I love batteries and, you know, I might start buying up some, you know, I don't know if, if you, any of you guys have like a dead boosted board that's not working with a dead battery. Uh, maybe you can send it to me and then I, I could fix it because I need some, I need some practice. And, you know, I went on eBay and I didn't, I didn't actually find too many. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll search for it because I want to I wanna mess with the battery and see if I can make it. So I got a bunch of these sitting around and I was going to actually, I was like, oh, the boosted battery tech is awesome. And then, <laughs> then I found out about the Samsung 40T Tesla batteries. I was like, okay. <laughs> so ever since then, these have been just sitting around in my house. <laughs> I don't need them. I'm not going to build a board, you know, because this makes your battery pack bigger. You have less clearance. Why would I build a board with this? It's just completely useless for, you know, building new boards. Um, but all the boosted boards use this exact battery. Um, so yeah, I want to play with it and then I think there's a market for boosted board battery repair because you know Especially in the next few years. There's gonna be a lot of people with uh, broken batteries and not be able to replace them um, Did I talk about everything? Yeah, if you have any questions uh, about it. Yeah, let me know but uh, Yeah, if you know, that's how the batteries work. This is why boosted um, Use these batteries and also went out of business part of the reason because they're, you know, they never moved on to newer battery tech. They just kept using like, this is a good battery, but it just doesn't work. It's not efficient for building, a, uh, you know, really th the thinnest skateboard with very good clearance. Um, and that's why their battery packs are huge, you know, in comparison with something else. Anyway, have a great day. This is Dr. E signing out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Batteries. I freaking love batteries.